Okay, day 21 of the project. Um, wow, it's uh, it's been a crazy three weeks, you could say. Um, yeah, first off, apologies again um, for, you know, I always start off with apologies, it seems. Um, but apologies for not basically doing a video blog for a while. Um, it, it's been pretty hectic. So, uh, while I've been doing the written blog, um, you know, it, it's been pretty hard, basically, um, to do one like this, and uh, I feel I'm going to even struggle today. Um, so I'm going to keep it pretty short. Um, but yeah, the main thing I really want to talk about today is, is kind of what, what I've done so far, and, and some of the main things that have come up so far. In terms of the interview stage, it's still fairly early days. Um, I actually planned on having the majority of the interviews done by now, and um, unfortunately that's not been the case. Um, I've done three. Uh, they've all been, you know, completely out of the ordinary in terms of what I expected. Um, I mean, what what can you expect? Um, it, it, it was always going to throw, up, as I said in, in one of my earlier blogs, it was always going to throw up something extraordinary, um, and and it really has. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been hard to arrange the interviews. Um, not just in terms of it being a lengthy process. For example, I, I interviewed um, one of the guys from um, from the Fernsco uh, male voice choir last week, and um, that took about two weeks or so to organise uh, because they only have what two rehearsals a week. Uh, from the time of actually asking and getting in touch with him, um, I, I had to basically arrange a time to go go and see them in rehearsal because that's what I wanted to see them, and I wanted to see them kind of in in you know doing what they do in a as natural as possible habitat uh, or environment rather. Um, and that was that was a long process. Um, so I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look like it's going to last six weeks. Uh, it looks like it might go on a bit longer than that. But to be honest, I think that was always going to be the case. Um, this was never something that I could have just gone straight through and done the whole thing um, in six weeks and then then just left it be. Um, if I had the time, I'd just carry on adding to, adding to it. But unfortunately, um, I haven't. So. But yeah, um, one of the main things, not away from what the what the project's looking at, because obviously that's going to be covered by the film. Um, but one of the main things that's come out is that I think a lot of people I'm interviewing at first think, you know, I'm coming in with a camera, I'm coming in with a recorder. Um, I actually think that I'm a journalist, and um, that's got some kind of mixed reactions, if you like. Um, I think people expect me to go in and um, and do the story and then take it back and, and do edits and and change it up and I mean especially with one of the interviews uh, I think I mentioned this on the written blog as well uh, with one of them in particular it was um, you know it was the point of he wasn't going to let me interview him because he thought I was a journalist and once I'd explained um, what I was doing which took a long time to do I am getting better at that now. Um, but once I'd explained to him, he was all for the project. So that's that in itself has been a really tough barrier to get over to make people understand that what I'm doing isn't journalism. If anything, it's the opposite of journalism. Um, I'm actually using these interviews to influence the the video, the film that I'm making itself. Um, you know, and that my, I've not got, as I've explained before, I've not got um, my own set, if you know what I mean, of 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 what I'm, you know, what I'm putting this together for. I've not got my own agenda other than to find out as much truth as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, so I mean that's that's been hard. That's been difficult. Um, time has been difficult as well. Um, I've gone into each interview trying to get about fifteen minutes or so, and um, the shortest one's been about forty minutes. The longest one, uh, well over an hour. Um, now when you're making a short film. Um, of around 10 to 15 minutes, obviously, you know, you, they're going to have to be really concentrated down. Um, that in itself is hard, because as I say, I'm not a journalist, but I've got to now go and pick the best bits out of that, and it's really hard to do that, yet still capture what the whole thing is talking about. Um, I could quite easily go in and, and pick bits out of that, um, that I want to show and leave bits out that I don't, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, 
the whole point of this is I want to create as as an in depth you know as in depth a picture as possible with this, um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, and that is that's going to be tricky. Um, I love a challenge, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, so got a few more interviews coming up. Um, I'll be in touch with the archives at Barnsley and the Yorkshire Film Archive as well. Um, the Barnsley Archive have been, well in fact both archives have been fantastic. Um, the Barnsley one especially, um, the help and the support that I've received from them has been phenomenal. Um, and that in itself, I could do a project on the things I found there in itself, the pictures, the documents and everything, um, is absolutely fantastic. Um, right, there's stuff on Roy Mason as well, a, a name which I'd actually never come across before. I could do a full project project quite easily on Roy Mason. Um, he was he was um, an MP for Barnsley who who was particularly involved in Parliament with the things that were going on. So I was listening to a few of his tapes that had been um, recorded and, and given um, to the archive, and they were I, I could have listened to them all day. I really could have. So yeah, so it's, it's, when you've got all these things going on, it is quite hard to keep on track sometimes, but um, I'm loving every minute of it, so. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it for now, really. Um, so yeah, hopefully, it'll not be another 21 days until I do the next vlog, hopefully by that time, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to start to wrap things up. Um, but yeah, we'll see.